Hello again. Uh, we're back uh, here at our project um, getting ready for demolition. So there's a few things that we've uh, had to have done in the last few days here and I'll kind of walk you through those one by one. Let's have a look. First thing I'm going to show you is our elevations. So we've actually had uh, our elevations shot onto some objects that are close and we've transferred those over onto the house and uh, there's elevations for both sides. You can also see our property pins are in. So basically what we have to do is we have to figure out where the corners of our lots are. And here there's two lots. So we've got one corner here and the far corner is on the very far side. You can just see a little bit of orange down there. The next thing we need to do is figure out how high the lot's going to need to be before we start construction. So you can see I've got a, an orange line spray painted just there. That orange line is where the top of our floor in the new house is going to be. And there's a similar mark on the house next door when we build that. And we'll use that line as a guideline um, until, of course, the house is torn down. But uh, that'll uh, give us something to measure off of just roughly. Uh, the next thing we've had to do is we've had to cut off our power. So you can see our power is now cut off so we can tear the house down. The meters have all been removed. Uh, the phone lines are on their way out tomorrow. Uh, cable lines, we'll have those removed as well. Um, the city is coming to remove water. And you can see we've got a temporary power up, which is where we're going to transfer power to for the construction project once it starts. The next thing that we need, needed to do was uh, test the house for anything that would harm the environment if we throw it away. Uh, we always have to remove the drywall and the, um, all the interior gyp rock and drywall but we found also with this side of the duplex that there was a uh, asbestos tile underneath the new floor so we've actually had to pull out the entire kitchen and have uh, since uh, stripped the floor and I'll take you inside and show Again. you that. Okay we're inside the house now and I'm going to show you the kitchen which looks a little bit different than the last time we showed it. There's no more cabinets in here and you can see the entire floor has been stripped off they actually used a hose to wet it down to keep the dust down and we've taken the asbestos tile out and the, the fellows that were in here doing that were in hazmat suits and uh, what they ended up doing was bagging it all and wrapping it up and taping up the bags marking them and having them put outside here and we're gonna have a fella come this afternoon and remove these and dispose of them properly so that we don't just put them in a landfill like a lot of people would do so that's our hazmat material removal. What we do is uh, make sure that the front of the lot looks nice and clean and uh, instead of just leaving the junk mail on the ground as often will happen on construction sites you'll end up with a pile of junk mail. Um, we like to put a post uh, a letter or mail box in so uh, you can see uh, we've got the mailbox put in and we'll be able to put our uh, permits and things like that up on top so uh, it just cleans it up a little bit and uh, lets everybody know that we're uh, on a site that's going to stay nice and clean and uh, not be a mess of garbage. So, And the last thing that, we, uh, that I'll show you today is we had to protect our trees. So there's several trees that we're going to be removing and replacing with new trees, but there's also trees that we're going to be saving. So first of all, uh, a number of trees in this area here are really nice plants actually. We're going to try and save as many of those as we can so we can use them into the, in the landscaping later. Uh, there's some pine in there and some rotos that we're going to save. Um, and also here you can see I've, I've built a tree fencing around the city trees on the outside and the city actually asked me to build it around the inside as well so we protect uh, the hedge and the trees from the inside. Only problem is that they cut off the power as I told you earlier so we had to build this whole fence old school my shoulder is sore. I've been sawing all afternoon. Anyhow, that's it for today. Demolition starts uh, in a number of days, in a couple of days actually. We've got uh, drywall removal starting on Friday, two days from now, and demolition starting on Monday. So we're getting ready to go. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.